Love YouTube, it's Kim and it's way in Wednesday. So, I lost 5.4 this week, so I lost everything I gained last week plus 0.2. So I am down to 204.6, so 4.8 left to go to Wonderland. <sighs> which if you are new to this channel, I started this journey at 317.6 pounds. Today I am 204.6, making my total loss 113 pounds. And I cannot be more excited. I worked so hard this week. I have been loving freestyle. It was very hard not being able to tell you guys that I was on freestyle, the new Weight Watchers program, but we are sworn to secrecy as employees and I could not I could not say anything. So I was so happy yesterday to make my overview video to share, you know, all the highlights. I like I said I think it's the best program yet. So I worked it hard this week. I am so happy that I took that gain off cuz I knew it was a BS gain. I knew it was just water weight. I knew if I worked the program I would get that off. So I am super happy with that. I'm at a new low, fresh weight baby, and I just gonna keep it going. So I wanted to talk you through another tough situation I had this week. Monday night was a Girl Scout event. For those who don't know, I am a co-leader for my daughter's Girl Scout troop, and I knew they were serving pizza, and it was Monday night, two days before weigh-in. Now normally I would never eat pizza or Chinese or anything like that two days before weigh-in, you know. I got my I got my, my, my regimen and my schedule of what I do close to weigh-in. And that night I was just like, it was just driving me crazy. Other Weight Watchers can understand what we go through. Someone who doesn't have food issues wouldn't understand the struggle of, you know, should I eat the pizza, should I not eat the pizza? So I made a deal with myself. I said, okay. If the pizza comes in hot and fresh and looks delicious, I will eat my one slice. But if it is like warm and doesn't look good, I won't eat it. So I got to the I got to the event. The pizza was delivered hot. I was like, oh Lord. But when they opened the box, it was overcooked and there was black marks on it. I was like, nope, not worth it. I'm really trying to only indulge when things are truly worth it. Because sometimes in your mind you think, oh man, I can't wait to eat it. And then you take a bite and you're like, wow, this isn't as good as I remember. So that was like a total victory for me. Like not eating that pizza. I walked out of there like, yes, you know, I felt like Superwoman. I'm so happy that the scale reflected my hard work. I mean, beside obviously that pizza situation, I worked very hard this week. I was back at Zumba, went to Zumba twice. I, you know, tracked everything, did everything I had to do. So this week in the meeting, we talked about freestyle, of course. My wonderful leader, Roger, gave his overview of the freestyle program, which was wonderful. Everybody was excited about it, so that was cool. I wanted to answer some questions, common questions that I got already about freestyle. So yes, you still get weeklies. You get weeklies and you can add your rollovers to that. And my weekly stayed the same, I get 42. And the app will update on your weigh-in day. So even though it rolled out on Sunday, you have to wait until your weigh-in day for the app to update, which I think that is a smart move. Even though it stinks for people whose meetings are later in the week, it was, I think, pretty smooth. Like with Smart Points, there was so many issues with people changing their weigh-in date and everything kept crashing. But I think the transition, you know, technically has been pretty smooth. So you can get a max of 24 rollovers a week. So six days times four is 24 because on the seventh day, that's when your weeklies reset. So you can, you know, earn up to 24 rollovers. For anyone on maintenance, on freestyle, you to go from weight loss to maintenance, you would get an extra five smart points. On beyond the scale, you were getting six. But I'm just loving the positive energy, loving the buzz. Everybody seems to be so excited. I've seen so many people rejoin and so many people have told me that, you know, I inspired them to rejoin and that makes me so happy because all I want is for you guys to feel great, to be successful and truly to live your best life. 
So working for Weight Watchers is going wonderful. I love being a receptionist. I definitely feel like I found my calling and getting to help and encourage others. So I, sub I substituted at an at work meeting a few weeks ago and then they needed a permanent receptionist for that meeting. So I got that and I met a wonderful new leader, Donna, who started another at work meeting and she asked me to be the receptionist for that too. So it was so cool, the first day was today, so it's cool starting at the beginning with everybody. I'll get to know everybody's name, encourage them along the way, and this, the at work meetings are awesome. I didn't really know what they were about because I went to traditional meetings, but basically a leader brings everything to your place of work, products, she does the meeting in like a conference room or something. You get to do Weight Watchers with your you know group of friends at work. So if you're interested in doing an at work meeting, you can call 1-800-8-AT-WORK or go to weightwatchers.com slash work to get some more information if you wanna start up an at work meeting at your work location. This week's question of the week comes from Vicki J. She says, have you always been so positive or have you become a more positive person throughout your weight loss journey. Do you have any tips on how to be a more positive person? Yes, I have always been positive, you know, for the most part. I do have to attribute that to my mom and dad. My mom and dad are both like super positive people. My mom's like so positive. Sometimes it's like, really ma? Like, you know, I'm in a hurricane here. And she's like, oh, it's fine, everything's great, you know. Um, so I definitely get my positive energy from my mom and dad. My dad always looks on the bright side of things, always tries to make the best of a situation. So that's how I grew up, being positive. And it, it definitely helps and helps me to, you know, enjoy everyday life. As far as any tips, I would say cutting out life drains. If you have any friends that are negative, that bring you down, just get rid of them. I have a very select group of close friends and uh, you know, they don't bring me down. They're supportive, but that's what you need. People around you who are gonna be positive and lift you up. Also, I wake up every morning and I make the decision that today's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna make the best of everything. I rarely complain. That's one thing I rarely do. I don't complain and I just, I keep it moving. Even when I was 317 pounds, I was a positive person. Sure, some of it, I was, you know, fake it till you make it. But for the most part, I am positive. So thank you for your question, Vicky. If anyone has a question for me, please put it down in the comments below. I was busy posting videos this week. Like I said, I have the freestyle overview video I posted yesterday. I posted a Weight Watchers snack haul, and I posted a Weight Watchers what I ate videos, you can get some meal and snack ideas. I will have all those linked below. Thank you all for your support, especially just like last week. I gained 5.2 pounds. You guys were there for me, rooting me on, and we always have to remember to never give up, right? It doesn't matter how many times you fall down. All that matters is how many times you stand up. So if you had a tough week, hit that reset button, Give a freestyle your all, treat it like week one, you know, treat it like you're a new member, read all your materials, do your food shopping, meal plan, and let's hit it out of the park this week, guys. So thank you again for watching this video and all your support. Mwah! I will see you next week. Stay fit and fabulous. Bye.